Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to understand how to run regression analysis. The new features which are there in Smart PLS 4. So here, job satisfaction of an employee is affecting the staying intentions of an employee. Environmental perception is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Organizational commitment is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Behavior of the co-workers and its effect on staying intention of an employee. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos so that you can understand the flow of this entire lecture series. Now to run the regression analysis here, what I'll do is, first of all, I'll save the latent scores of this constructs. So the latent score is also a composite score for one single construct. So I'll go and calculate PLSM algorithm, start the calculation. I'll go and open report, create the data file, and I'll make sure that the latent variable scores are on. Create. Once this is being done, I'll go and edit. I'll select the data set, or rather, I'll go back only from here. I'll activate the regression from here, and I'll specify the new name, one, save. Now make sure to change the data set from here, you will save the uh, data set which is from PLS results. So you will get all the LV scores. Okay. See, if you gen select the original raw data file, you will not be having the latent variable scores. But if you select derived from PLS results, you will be having the LV scores, latent variable scores. So my original model consisted of staying as a dependent variable. So first, I will select the dependent variable and drop it on the canvas. So the intercept is given as a result of intercept and the LV scores. Now my co-workers, environmental perception, job satisfaction, organizational commitment, they are all independent variable. I'll just simply drag it and drop it. Make sure this time you will drag it and drop it in the dependent variable. And you can see the results are ready. I'll select it and only co-workers are to be kept here. Environmental perception. Fly. Co-workers. Fly. Job satisfaction. Fly. Organizational commitment. Apply. Apply. So the model is ready. Where staying intention is the dependent variable, all others are independent variable. And this is my intercept. Now I'll go and calculate. I'll get only three options. I'll select regression analysis from here. Make sure it is two tail 0 0.05. Start the calculation. Open the report. Summary coefficients. The interpretation is that this values, the p-values should be less than 0 0.05. Then only we can say that these constructs are significant. So this is a summary coefficients. Moreover, this confidence interval should not, con should not consist 0 in it. If 0 is present, this construct will become insignificant. Positive to positive, no zero present. And therefore, this construct is, that is environmental perception, independent variable is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Job satisfaction, no zero present in, the, in between these two confidence interval, p-value less than 0 0.05, quite good. This means that job satisfaction is significant. Here, positive to positive, no zero in between these two confidence interval. So organizational commitment is also significant. Positive to positive, co-workers significant. But if I talk about intercept, negative to positive, zero is present in between these two confidence interval and therefore intercept is insignificant. But for learning purpose, we will proceed ahead. The summary ANOVA. Here also the desirable is that this p values should be less than 0 0.05 so that we can say jointly, all the independent variables are affecting dependent variables. 
See, in summary, we are checking individually are they affecting or not. But in summary ANOVA, we are checking that jointly are they affecting the dependent variable or not. From here, we can make the equation. So if I want to form the equation, I'll use the unstandardized coefficients. How? Let us see. So I'll quickly copy this on the word file and I can form the equation which is here. With the staying intention which is a dependent variable is 0 0.330 into environmental perception plus 0 0.079 into job satisfaction. Make sure that you always make an equation from the unstandardized coefficients plus 0 0.350 organizational commitment plus 0 0.098 into co-workers. Intercept was not significant therefore it's not included here. So you can see that the staying intention of an employee is largely affected by two. One, the environmental perception and second is organizational commitment. Now, what is the explanatory power of the model? Or rather, how well the model is performed? Click on R square and you will get the value. R square adjusted is 38.7 percentage. It's less. Normally, it should be more than 0.6. So R square adjusted is 0.387 converted into percentage, you will get 38.7. Check the collinearity statistics. All the values should be less than 3. If it's less than less than 3, quite good. Now we will do the residual analysis. Kindly click on it. It will generate some values. Directly go to the descriptives and try to see the values which are there. So here we get skewness, kurtosis, and there are some tests which are there. So normally we go for this test that is a tremor one mysis test. The null hypothesis of this is residuals are normally distributed. The null hypothesis of this test is residuals are normally distributed. So as the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject and we say that residuals are not normally distributed, not good for the model. So the desirable is that the p-value should be more than 0 0.05 here. Go in the quantile quantile plot. The desirable is all the red dots should be on this on this diagonal line. But here you can see they are not. It means that the residuals are not normally distributed. You can confirm this thing from the histograms also. That there is some skewness in the residuals. This is also not good for the model. You can see some bars are are outside the normal distribution plot. So for more videos on Smart PLS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Smart PLS 4. Don't forget to press the like button.